I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, and we are so thankful for this month, what God has been talking to us about. I want to read a verse in James chapter 5, verse 8, that talks about the strategy of establishment. And the Bible says, You also be patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. The Lord here is telling us that we need to establish our hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. We are living in a time when many people are shaken because of so many things. Our economy is shaking us. The politics of the world are shaking us. Um, the lack of peace is shaking us. Maybe your neighbor is shaking you, but God is telling us, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord is near. And you may be wondering, how can we do that? One of the best scriptures that I have in that direction is what David talked about in Psalms 37. And I want to read those verses in Psalms 37 because they really summarize what God wants us to know. And let me tell you this. God is establishing you on a rock that cannot be shaken. And so in these verses, he begins by saying, verse 3, Psalms 37 verse 3, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Then verse 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord. Verse 5, Commit your way to the Lord. And then verse 7, Rest in the Lord. Those four things really summarize the strategy of establishment. And we establish ourselves on one thing, and that is the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is a rock that can never be shaken. And so number one, he says, trust in the Lord and do good. It is so important for us to trust in the Lord in this season and in this time. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, uh, verse 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. He will direct your paths. The Lord knows what we need. The Lord knows our future. The Lord knows our present. The Lord knows our past. And so he's saying, trust in the Lord. That is an important strategy to be established in him. But secondly, he says, delight yourself also in the Lord. There are many things in life that will cause you to delight. There are things that will cause you to, to run after. But the Lord is saying, delight in me. And when we delight in him, and when we rejoice in him, we get excited about the Lord. We are established on a rock that cannot be shaken. Let me tell you this. Increase of our salary will not cause you to be delighted. Sometimes it will come and you want more. But the Lord is saying, delight yourself in the Lord. But thirdly, not only are we to trust in the Lord, not only are we to delight in the Lord, verse uh, 5 says, commit your way to the Lord. Let me tell you this. There's nobody better than Christ who is able to take what you commit to him and he makes it happen. The Bible says, God knows the plans he has for us. Plans for welfare, not for evil, to give us a future and a hope. And I believe as you walk into this week and we're entering also into a new month, that God will be established inside you and you will be established inside him. How do you do that? Number one, trust in the Lord. Number two, delight yourself in the Lord. And number three, commit your way to the Lord. And lastly, we are told in verse seven, rest in the Lord. It is so important to lean on him, rest on him. And once you have committed yourself to him, let me tell you this, the Lord will not let you down. So this week, remember the strategy of establishment. Number one, trust in the Lord. Number two, Delight in the Lord. Number three, commit your way to the Lord. And number four, rest in the Lord. May God give you an amazing week. And may the Lord bless you. May you be established in him 
and him alone. In Jesus' name, amen.